hello hello and welcome back my dreamers how you guys doing so today i have this folder and i got these from the dollar tree um eight pieces file folders they are three tabs and your basic file folder shape and size um so i want to do a master board i haven't done a master board ever and i have been watching other people yes i have and I wanted to make one out of the bits and bobs of things that I have here. And, um, here we go. I don't know if I'll be able to fill out a whole master board, a whole, a whole sheet to do one, but I'm going to try. So here is my folder with all my bits and bobs of different things that I've used and stopped and put away inside this little folder here. And so we're just going to dump it out. This is a great way to use all your little bits and pieces of things that you just didn't quite finish using, um, all the way from fabric to, you know, stickers, use sheets of paper, cut aparts, odd shapes, you name it. Um, anything and everything that started with something but didn't quite finish, uh, as you can see. So let's go ahead and start this process. Like I said, I've never done it before. <laughs> so I'm going to incorporate, uh, I don't know if I should incorporate my fabrics in here or not, because I have two pieces of fabric here and some lace. I don't, I mean, I really don't see why not, but maybe, maybe, um, maybe I'll start off with paper per se, and then we'll see if we can work up to, to something else so the first thing i'm going to do is i think i'm going to work with this bigger sheet right here um and i think i'm going to keep it just as such and then i can build upon it okay so which side do i want to work with so if you guys want to go and get a file folder even if it's a pretty one you're just not using flip it over to the blank side and get your box or your um your folder of your bits and bobs things that you've kept bits and pieces so you could try to reuse them go ahead and go get it put me on pause and um start it as soon as you get back and we can do it together have you ever made a board i've never made a master board um the purpose of a master board is that after you make it you use all your bits and bobs and all the little pieces so they don't go to waste i'm gonna have to open this up bigger my arthritis is acting up so I'm going to need this to be a little bit more open. Let's see. Because I am struggling today, honey. There we go. That's a lot bigger. So I don't have to press as hard. Oh, it looks like some of the glue was a little dry there. Maybe that's why. Okay. Then I'm going to put some over here. Over here. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, um, the point to this is to make tags just, you know, out of random, random things that you have. So things don't go to waste. I'm gonna put this here. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. And I'm going to flip this over and we'll flip it over here to this end. I'm going to try to put it on the far end as possible. I'm just going to smooth it out. So that's my first piece. There we go. Then, um, I'm going to move it over. Hopefully you guys can still see it. And maybe I can use like this bigger piece right here. Maybe I'll use this bigger piece right here. Move all this over here. Maybe actually drag it over just a little bit here on the top like that. Okay. Now you can tear these apart and make different shapes and all that. I'm just going to try to use them just as if, just as is until I get to the little difficult more smaller pieces where you kind of have to do that. So I'm going to actually, I'll just put it right up against the edge right there. That looks pretty. That's such a pretty paper. 
with it looks like the sky the dark blue sky with the pretty stars okay then I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put this one just like there just to cover up that little piece a little bit right there and let me I know this is one of those little oddball pieces right so we're going to add this here, right there, and then you're just going to keep on layering. All right, next piece, let's see, um, maybe I can use this one up here like that. All right, maybe all the way up to that edge right there. Okay. As you can tell, I got big pieces, I got little pieces. Whatever I didn't finish working with, I just threw it into that folder. So then I could try to work on a master board. So your pieces might be smaller than mine, or they might even be bigger than mine. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it down like right about there. Okay. Then I'm going to add maybe this piece right here on the edge. That was one of these pieces that I just cut apart the other day, but I didn't get to use it. But I did cut it apart. It was probably it's part of the Halloween stuff, the cut aparts. So let's put that here on the edge. It's none of this is going to have any rhyme or reason to it. It's not, and it's meant to be like that. Okay, so that's there on that edge. Now, I have this piece right here. Again, another Halloween piece, and I could just overlap that right here. I think that looks good right there, actually, because of the blue sky paper. Here we go. And I have a, what do you call this? What's that old navy fleece? Fleece. I have a fleece, brown fleece cover um, over the shoulder thing on because I am cold. I'm always hot, but today I am cold because it is cold outside. It's overcast. It's rainy. My husband came home early. He's actually in bed resting. So that was a nice little treat to see him come home and get some rest. I'm going to put this one right here. Okay. Hopefully you guys are seeing, I'm trying to see if you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me see. Yeah, I think you can. <laughs> I just can't tell, but at the end I'll show you the whole thing regardless. And like I said, it's, you're not making it, you're not supposed to make it look per se pretty. It's like no rhyme, no reason. You're just trying to do something unique and different. There we go. I'll put that there. That looks good. Okay. Let me see what other piece. I do have some lace. This is like this really weird, very stiff, not very pliable type of lace. It's like, it's just a very odd ball lace. I don't know if this is going to work because it's so lacy. <laughs> of course, lace is lacy. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to use this because I don't think it's going to stick in it here. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do it this way and put it over here. This Try to put the glue pieces around these like thicker parts, as you can say, to see if maybe it'll stick. Let's see. I don't know. Let's give it a go. We can give it a whole college go. And if it sticks, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll try to do something different. I'm trying to go around this. You hear how rough that is? You hear that? Yeah, that's how rough this lace is. And I've had this for a long time. And I just, I don't like working with it because it's so rough. It's just a pain in the tuchus. All right, I'm going to try to lay it down over here on this edge, over here. 
Let's see. Okay. Give it some time to adhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hopefully that will adhere. And the glue will dry clear. So that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So let's leave that edge alone for a minute and continue to concentrate over here. Now my hands are all gluey. <laughs> okay, then uh, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to put this over here on this little corner thing. I know, why is my glue so thick? What is going on? What is going on? Why is my tacky glue so thick? All right, so we're going to put this one here. Okay, that looks good. All right, then I have a bigger piece right here. Let me see. I'll move some of these. I don't know if I have a piece of a look. Oh, let me see. Maybe this piece let's see maybe this piece would be interesting right here maybe right there yeah let's try that let's try that just to see if it could take up some space all right and again this is a great way to use up those bits and bobs that don't really have. Well, maybe I can use it down here. This is... down here would be kind of cool. Right here on the edge. Yeah, I'm gonna use it on this edge. I hope you guys can see it. Like I'm gonna use it on this edge or down here. If you guys can't see it. Okay, so I put it down that edge. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put this over here. Maybe which direction? Maybe in that direction. Yeah, I like that there. Okay, this one I had worked with and I was going to put it on something. And then last minute I decided not to. You could tell I edged it out and everything. So here we go. I'm going to put that one there. Okay. All right. Now let me see what else I got. Um, I have this, this little edgy part. Maybe I could put this here on this end. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to put this little edgy part here on this end. And I'm going to cover up some of that lace. Maybe that'll help it here in a little bit. I don't know. We were, my husband sent me a house listing, you know, and give me ideas for a retirement um, place for us to to live at because I know this is not our for our forever home. We're here because of the school system, you know, for my children. But we're gonna retire and be able to. I mean, not right now, obviously, but go to a different place for retirement. Okay, let's see. We also have this cut apart here. It's a little bit bigger. Maybe I could put it here on the top, right across here. I think that looks good. Okay. You know, this is very relaxing. I hope this is relaxing for you. I know you guys can't hear it, but I do have some jazz playing in our bedroom. I have our wax melters on, smelling nice, very relaxing. I don't know if I want that to go up or under. Let's put it over. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want I don't want y'all to be able to hear the music because that could give me a strike. <laughs> I'm gonna put this right here, or maybe I could put it there. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna put that floral right here to cover up that little empty space right there. Let's do that. There to cover up the empty space. Okay. All right. 
hodgepodgey it right there. Then um, I do have this like black little tiny piece of lace right here. A little plastic on it too. Okay. So maybe we can just place that there, right there going across the top like that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I want to use fabric. Okay. Let's keep her moving. I have a happy Halloween cutout that I didn't use. I think I know where I want to put this. Like right here. Because that'll fit that nice space right there on the edge. Hope you guys can see that. This little edge right here. Then I have this, so it would probably look good right there on that little clear part, but I think it's too big. Um, no, I don't want it there. Maybe right there. Yeah, I think I want it right there. Okay, I kind of want it right there. Oh, boy. This is going by pretty quickly. Okay. There we go. I'll put that there and put that there. That's matching up, but there's like a little piece here that's not. So I still need something for right there. Maybe this piece can overlap right here. Yeah, that piece can cover that right there. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Okay, then I do have some more of these cut aparts. Maybe I could put one right here. I guess I have like a little bit of empty space right there. So let's take care of this empty space. And put it up a little high. There we go. That's nice. I like that there. Okay. Then we do have some of these stickers. And this was a sheet I didn't get to completely use, obviously. Maybe, I don't know. Take some of these, add these on this lighter thing here. Let's do it. Oh, I kind of want to do it like that. Let's do it right there. Let's take another one out. This is from my Happy Planner sheet. Happy Planner book, I should say, that I had. And I'm going to put them side by side. Let's put them side by side to get like a cool look going over here. hope you guys can see right here. I hope you can. Let me see. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, baby. Maybe, baby. Okay, and then we're going to put it right all the way up to the edge. Just like so. Okay, and then we're going to use some more. So I'm going to put some up there. Because, um, because I want to. Right there. And then I want to do another one right beside it. Because I just don't like that color too much. I really don't. I'm going to put one right there on the edge and put another one if I could get it out. Can I get it out? My goodness. These little clear ones are so hard to work with sometimes. There we go. I'm going to put it around here just like that. And I got two more. So let me, um, I'm going to put one over here, down here next to this edge. And so I kind of want to put one right there, but it's going to overlap. I'll put something different right there. And then I'll put one maybe up here on the top, right here. There we go. Okay. So I use that. Now I can throw this away. All right. Then let's keep going because we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, so I have some more of these little bits and bobs. Bobs and bits. Um, maybe I'll put some of this over here on top of that lace. Let me put that there. 
over this lacy part over here, maybe right there on the top. There we go. Right on top of that lace. And then um, I think maybe I want to put this one right there. No, I don't want that there. Oh, let's see. Uh, I think one right there going across like so. Okay, I want to do that because it's taking up that little empty word space. All right. Let me see if I can just... There we go. Right there. And don't worry if you see the glue, it's going to dry clear. No worries. It's going to dry clear. No worries. There we go. All right. I'm going to get a napkin. I'll clear my hands off a little bit. Then we do have this blue piece, just like, um, I think it's an actual sticker, but I think I might just try to glue it down if I can't take the back off. Because I know this one was like a little difficult to do. Oh, did it. Look at that. I took it off. Now, where to place this? I think I'll put it right here on top of this lace. I'm going to put it right on top of the lace. There we go. And then I have another one of these nice bright pieces. Maybe I'll put that right here on the edge. Right here. I'm going to put that one right there. Okay. All right. Like I said, everything that comes out, you know, the glue, it'll, it'll dry clear, no worries. It will dry clear. Okay, then we have, let me look at this piece here, because see, we need to cover some of that up. What do I have? What do I have that I can use? I have lots of these pieces, look. I have lots of those pieces, as you can tell. I have some more of the silver. I have some of this. Um, I'm going to put one of these right there at the edge, right here. And then I'm going to put this one right on top of that one right here. Put that right there. Now I'm going to put this one trash. So maybe I can glue this piece right here it will overlap a little bit but that's going to be the cool thing about it right there then we have this piece here this will look cool over here on that lace part I think this bigger piece let me put that there okay I'll bring that over here so you guys can see what I'm doing hopefully I'm putting it right there on top, right on the top. Then maybe um, I have these little sign things that say happiness is found within. Let me see where I could put that. Maybe I could put that right here on top, or on top of there. And this other little saying that says happy. Follow your path to happiness. Um, maybe I could put that right here. And that's it for that, I think. I'll put that one back in there. And then I think, let me see, is there a piece of look of right here? Right on top somewhere right there. I think that would look good right there, except for this little white piece. I don't like the white piece, too. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So let's put that one there. Okay. And I'm put that one there. Very good. Then we'll add this piece right there, too, on the top. I kind of like the edge, that edgy look though, that's right there though, so I don't think I want to put it there. Um, I think these little tiny pieces can go. Uh, 
maybe maybe I could put a piece right here that'll look pretty right there that will look nice up against that one and put it like mosh podgy style mosh posh there we go okay then um you could put stickers you know basically anything and everything that you have you could put on here okay then i think i'm going to edge this little piece out over here right there and now i'm kind of covering up the flowers but you know you know because if you don't know well now you know you know here we go and then we're gonna do that just like so uh, uh, just say so um let me see maybe that little funky piece right there on the top this little this little funky piece right here on the top right here hopefully you guys can see it if you're not you will in a second there we go right there we'll mosh posh it on the edge okay very good um this one needs to be mosh posh that little piece right there there we go uh let me see um then i have this piece right here i think i'm gonna put it right there on the edge right here so let's do that right there i think that looks good let's put this piece right there okay Let's see if I could put it right here, maybe in between. Yeah. I just finished watching a movie. Uh, that was really interesting. At the end of the song was looking at you on the other side. My husband was like, remember we used to listen to that song all the time in my car? I was like, I don't remember that, but okay. <laughs> I was probably too busy just, you know, being in there. What do you call in there? I can't even say it. You know, just paying attention to him. You know, just too busy looking at him. Not paying much mind to anything else. I'm going to put this over here too. This little random piece of floral. Right here. Right on top. There we go. Uh... I do have this little doohickey. Um, oh, I could put it, I could put some right here, but I can put it right there if I want it to. But some of it's going to hang off. Let me cut that little piece. Cut that little piece off. Okay. Let's put it right here. I'm going to glue it. There you go. Put this little right here. There we go. And I wonder if I can use this piece maybe somewhere here on the top. Or maybe like kind of sort of encasing it maybe right there. Right here on the top. Hopefully you guys can see that. Well, you will see it in a minute. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. And I keep looking for other places to put stuff. <laughs> I keep looking. I know I don't have to use absolutely everything that was inside here. I know that. I know this. I have this floral. I could probably put... Because I really like that wood look right there. I just love that wood look. I don't really want to cover that wood look up. But the whole premise is, is to use your stuff. So I'm just going to use it. There we go. And then I have this piece. This different floral. Maybe I could do a side by side here. 
There we go. Use the side by side. There we go. All right. And let me see if there's anything else that I want to use before I close this. Uh, I do have this right here. This is the new that I had cut out from a magazine. Um, maybe I could put that right here or right here on the side where it says the new. I don't know. Maybe right there. Okay, we'll put it right here. Right there. And I do have some of this like white fabric, but again, it is fabric. Okay, and I have this string, and I have this one oddball, and then I have this other fabric. Maybe I'll do one with just fabric soon as I get enough, but I do have some of these pieces. Let me see if I can use those pieces. Okay, so I'm going to try to use that piece, this piece, that's fabric. That's like, well, maybe I can use that here, but that's more like fabric. And that's fabric. And we have these smaller pieces here. Maybe I can try to use these little pieces here. Okay. Let's see what I can do with these last bits and bobs. Bobs and bits, bits and bobs. Bobs and bits. Okay. Um, maybe I can have a heart. And I do have that floral. I think I'm going to put that floral going across here. I like, I like it right there. Right where it had landed. I like it right there. I don't like that. And this is, um, as you can tell, like a little glittery piece. Maybe I could cover up that piece right there with it. Right there. And lay and place that. Booyah, baby. Right there. I'm putting you right there. Then, um, this piece needs a little attention. Maybe I can go and do that right there and cut it right there let me see I was gonna cut it right here right okay and that's the piece we're gonna put right there let's see how well this is gonna work out see the little sticky part is sticking onto the paper instead of onto those there we go I got it okay yeah you got to be careful with it Okay, so we're going to put that right there. I'm going to let it overlap. And then, because this has like a little, see that little empty space right there? I'm going to put that possibly going underneath right there in the middle. Right there. I like that. Okay, so let me just put some glue on this. There we go. And we're gonna put it right underneath and let it go across right there perfect remember what I said any of this glue that shows is all good it's gonna dry clear okay and I do have this little this was artisan paper that I painted I think I'm gonna put it over here on the side this little empty piece right here there we go We'll put that one right there. Then there's this little piece that's like, um, and this piece, maybe I could put it right here or maybe right here. I'm going to put that one right there. And as you could tell, I had used paints and was doing color behind that one. But I'm going to put it right here because I can. Okay. Then we have these like ticket things that I cut out. I'm going to put them right there too. I'm going to put it right there going across. And I do have this heart. I think I'm going to put the heart right 
think I put the heart right over here, actually. Let me see. The heart's telling me to go here. I gotta listen to my instincts. I'm gonna put it right here. Don't worry about the glue. And then I wanna put this little brown piece of paper right here. If you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it right here. This little brown piece. And let's mosh posh it a little bit. Mosh posh. This is that artisan paper that's really pretty. Then um let me just clean that up a little bit there. Clean that up a little bit there. Okay. Then I want to take mosh posh just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Alright, then I'm going to take this piece right here because that little piece of paper is supposed to go underneath and it kind of went on top. Why is it going on top? Why? What did I do that I did not do correctly? Okay, there we go. I don't want it on top. There we go. I'm going to shine. I'm going to stop doing Go ahead. Uh, envy me. I ain't going nowhere so you can get to know me. Okay. Then I'm not going to do this lace. Then I have these tickets that I cut out. So I think I'll put these tickets uh, right across over here. I'm going to put these tickets over here. Right... I like it on top. Let me see. I kind of want it right there. I don't really want to block the tree, but I kind of want it right there, though. So, it is what it is. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Okay. There we go. And I have this. Uh, like I said, this one's down here in the middle. Let me cut it in half. You can get this one from Dollar Tree. They're nice because you get to cut them and really, per se, personalize them. You know what I'm saying? For your use. It's kind of nice. But they are a little bit of pain in the butt to take off sometimes because that little sticky part wants to come off. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here on top going across there and then this one I'm going to put going across on top over here like so over here and not going all the way over like that hope you guys can see that okay booyah there we go wow so I used a lot of my stuff here we go here we go there we go let me mosh podge this little sheet up here. There we go. Oh, and I left this little piece. Go ahead and envy me. I'll put it over here. I'll put it over here because it needs to be used. I left it out to be used, so let's use it. So you can get to know me. Yeah. Da, da, da. Okay. So there you go. All right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So this is my master board as of right now, but I do want to put something over here on that edge. I don't know. Did I throw something in here that I can use on that edge? That's not terribly large. <laughs> I have this little thing here that is too big. I don't want all that there on the edge. Okay. It's going to have to be the way it is for now. Okay, so let's look at my master board. Uh, so I'm going to have to let this dry. But as you can tell, I was able to use a lot of things. I wonder if I, you know what? I wonder if I could put a sticker right there. One of these stickers, because I had this sticker too. I think I can use a sticker right there. Maybe I can use this one. I know my fingers are like covered in glue. They are covered, honey. They're 
covered in glue. OMG. Okay, let me see if I can see if it'll let me take it off. Gee whiz. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. That was inside my little bag. Okay, I want to put that there. Okay, there we go. That's like I needed something there. I didn't. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Again, this is the end of my master board right now. I wish I could put more stuff on it, but I'm going to stop right here. I know you guys don't want to hang out with me all night, but that's what it looks like. Okay. Make sure you guys can see the top. Okay. Hopefully, you guys can see it all. There's no rhyme and no reason to it. And then what you end up doing is you cut these apart and you use them for tags after you let it dry. And if they look like mixed media tags and you can add even more stuff to them. And you're using your leftover bits and bobs of things that you would normally just not end up using. But you don't want them to go to waste. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and helping me with my master board. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.